Let's uh, crack straight on. Right, uh, art and literature, you next round. Oh, I'm going to fire this off now then. We've got a pawn in there too. That kind of art. That's definitely an art form, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Literature, razzle, <laughs> or <laughs> No, penthouse. <laughs> Originally found in Italy in the early 20th century, this social and artistic movement had parallel movements in the UK, Belgium and Russia. Founded by poet Filippo Tommaso Marinetti, other key figures were Carlo Gara, Giacomo Balla and Umberto Bocchioni. It was an influence on other artistic movements including precisionism, realism and vorticism. Emphasising speed, youth and technology and objects such as the car, the aeroplane and the... Ashton? Futurism? Futurism, yeah. I was wrong, by the way. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> This character is mentioned in Homer's Iliad. In the story, Hera tells, Hera tells him to encourage the Greek forces, and he acts as a herald for them. He, has, he is known for having a voice as powerful as 50 men. Norman? Stentor. Stentor, yeah. Awesome. That was Tony. Norman was... Oh, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah. I thought yeah. we were continuing on the last question, my mistake. No, uh, to- no one gets that, yeah. Um, three. The first artist to win the Turner Prize using this medium was Douglas Gordon in 1996. Other winners who have used this medium are Jeremy Deller, Elizabeth Price, Duncan Campbell, Gillian Waring and Steve McQueen. Action. Film video. Yeah, film video, yeah. Five. The French cavalry colonel Patrick Henri Lassan, who appears in the Starbuck Chronicles by Bernard Cornwell, which are set during the American Civil War, is the son of which other of Cornwell's creations? Dave Bill? Sharp. Sharp, yes. Yeah. Should just come straight away? Six. The author Joe Deaver, who died in December 2016, is best known for creating what series of game books? Was Booksy the sole survivor of the Massacre of the Kai Lords after battle against the forces of the Dark Lords to save Magnamund? Dave Bill. Fancy Fantasy? Nope. Is that Marky? I was going to say that as well. Simon? White Dwarf? No. Come on. No. Lone Wolf. Oh, nice. An Art Deco style luxury apartment block on the seafront in Brighton. Like. Bloody Brighton. Brighton, why right? No. Ah. He's named after which person? Most famous have been the architect of the Chrysler building. Hmm? Tony. Tony. Right? No. Dave Bill? Goldfinger? No. Simon? Albert Ross? <laughs> no. I no. wanted to say that. He's <laughs> got to cop up again sometime. Lee Corbusier. No. Uh, Will? No, it's his options. No. Rhodes? No. Is we, it Van Allen? Yeah, Van Allen, yeah. We, <laughs> we know Albert Ross wasn't that because he was at Washington <laughs> Library. Domestic <sighs> 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 by Tony. Yeah. <laughs> the question started. Shall we? Uh, I mean, Mulligan. Won in 1998 by Stephen Fry for his novel Making History. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> 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 Read a book. Harry Turtle Dove in 1997 for How Few Remain, in 2012 by C.J. Sampson for Dominion, and in 2004 by Philip Roth for The Plot Against America. The Sideways Award is a prize given to what specific genre of fiction? Is that Marky? Dystopian? No. Ashton? Revisionist history? Yeah, alternative history, yeah. Uh, okay. right. uh, Ashton, oh, two points. Uh, Uh, number nine, measuring in at 363 centimetres by 437 centimetres, it is known for its colossal size for a painting. It is also known for its perception of movement, even though it's a static portrait. It was attacked by a man with a bread knife in 1979, and some damage from it can still be seen up close. Oh. Tony? Rugby Venus. No. Nope. Uh, Norman? Screen. No. Nope. Uh, you're not finished, have you? No, I'm not finished, no. So that's Tony and Armin, it doesn't matter which are, they're both uh, around, Painted in 1642, its two central figures amongst a group of around 20 people are Willem von Rautenberch. Lee. Ashton. Uh, sorry. Oh, Lee, sorry. Lee. The Night Watch. The Night Watch, yeah. I, 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 I was in on that. So that's a long way from. Best so, time today. Which writer, a commissioner of war supplies for Napoleon's Grand Armée, and who looks very similar to someone well known in the quizzing world, Wrote by 
Dave Bill. Right, Stendhal. Stendhal, yeah. What, well, tell me about that, will you? Please. Just look, 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 look at look a picture of Stendhal. And who does it look like? Pagginson. Absolutely. Oh, that picture on the meme thread. Yeah. yeah. No. Wow, that's got me. Number 11. We'll, we'll show you one minute. Uh, one of the young British artists who was exhibited at the Royal Academy Sensation Exhibition in 1997, they became in 2004 the only ever winner of the K Foundation's Worst Artist Award to win the Turner Prize in the same year. That's it. Mike. Mike. Sam Taylor Wood. Nope. Rhodes. Tracy. No. Nope. Their 2000 and sculpture of a nameless library can be found in the Judenplatz in the first district of Vienna and was a, is a memorial to the Holocaust whose design began thanks to initiative started by Simon Wiesenthal. Many of their works are casts of ordinary domestic objects, in numerous cases their so-called negative space. One of their works, untitled 24 switches, resembles a big box of light switches, whilst their 1993 work, House, is a cast of a Victorian house. Who is a sculptor, the first woman to win the Turner Prize? Oh! Who's next? Uh, Will? Uh, oh, so I was, was going to say very slow my word, but I'm just Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. quite rigged, yeah. Uh, right, well, have we got a, a battery? Uh, a, a I'm just going to plug me there. Plug me on my car, no? Yeah, that's fair. No, uh, no have we got, there, there should be a... Is that? No, that's not it. Is it that? Ah, decision yeah. with the Turner Prize in 2004 there. That's why. That's what we do. I've got it there. Well, no, it's not a good idea. Yeah, I've yeah, got it there. Can you plug that in first, please, Mike, down there? And uh, we'll put this in here. Some of you want to join the demo scene to make it more. Yeah, I'm filming this video so it sucks. Yeah, up yeah. There. Yeah. there we go. Yeah. Boom. Alright, number 12. So, who, do I have some decent points there? Will got the last one. Will? Boom. You're getting one around, which is just awesome. Well, it's more than I thought, more than I thought to get, but. Yeah. Right. Number 12. Anybody get 16 points in this competition altogether? Is... The 2011 murder mystery novel by P.D. James entitled Death Comes to Pemberley. Mike? Jane Austen. Nope. Lee? Pride and Prejudice. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Lee and Lee. Get him, Lee. Yeah. Number 13. Which form of textile produced using square knots and various common... Dibble. Dibble. Macrame. Macrame, yeah. Ah, not probably as easy as that. 14. First finding fame as a dramatist, his works include the 1696 sequel to Collie Sieber's notorious tearjerker, Love's Last Shift called The Relapse, which centres around the main characters returning to a life of polygamy, and the 1697 restoration comedy The Provoked Wife. At the turn of the 18th century, despite having never... Tony? Van Brook. Van Brook, yeah. Oh, sorry. I've given Will a, sh a shitload of points there. Uh, that's better. 15. Due to be published in 2019, The Mirror and the Light will be the third of... Ashton? Clearing Mantel's Wolf Fall. Wolf Fall, yeah. Hello, Ashley. Welcome back again to this. Reset. 16. The logo of which fashion designer is a rectangular shape? It's rectangular shape with a blue stripe at the bottom. Dave Bell. Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger, yeah. Oh, like that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> This novel starts off using the false document technique where the writer discusses how he found out about the fictional events described in the book when he found a concealed mass grave of 13 people in a Norfolk graveyard. The story sees Operation Stalin being, Stalin, as in the bird, uh, being planned by Colonel Raddle, which will involve a daring raid on the village of Studley Constable. Simon? The eagle has landed. The eagle has landed. Oh. Up the table, sir. Used to symbolise evil, but actually serving a purpose as a spout to convey water from a roof away from the side of the Lee? Gargoyle. A gargoyle, yep. Whoo, what hell? Don't come on, Lee. The last of her novels to be published, it focus on, focuses on the ward of the wealthy Sir Hugo Malinger, who has a tendency to help others at a cost to himself. 
which is the only one of George Eliot's novels to be set in a contemporary Victorian setting. Mike? Mike. Mike. The March. No. Lee. 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 No. Norman. Norman. Julie Obscure. No. Tony? Sam Rowland. Sorry? Sam Rowland. No. Uh, Dave Bill? Uh, boy, I Rhodes? No. We fucking you guys! Barry Alderonda. There's two reasons why I don't yeah, film these anymore. Who got it? Will. Will, okay. Get it, mate. Right, last one. Born in Stoke in 1899, this person first started working in the pot pottery industry at the age of 13. Rose? No. Lee? Clarice Cliff. Clarice Cliff, yeah. So Rose, uh, this is interesting because Rose gets minus one, which doesn't affect things, but Lee Native with his group. two, and um, if you watch that, well, Lee, Dave, Bill and Lee, uh, Dave, Bill, Ashlyn and Lee, all on eight points. Dave, Bill, Ashlyn and Lee. Can we crack more or less straight on and do this and then we'll have two to finish with? Okay. Uh, so we've got three rounds left. I'm just going to go like this if you don't.